Дамы и господа, просим вас обратить внимание на демонстрацию аварийно-спасательного оборудования. Светящаяся дорожка указывает направление. You've probably seen those sci-fi movies where robots walk among us, serving drinks and offering a cold, metallic smile. That future just landed in the cabin of a Russian airliner. Obeda Airlines just deployed a humanoid robot named Validia as a flight attendant, making it a world first. And the internet is having a full-blown meltdown about it. So picture this. You're boarding a flight from Olyanovsk to Moscow. And instead of a human greeting you at the door, you're met with a sleek, somewhat uncanny form of a robot that looks a lot like a unitary G1. Its name is Validia. It greets. Passengers, it delivers the safety instructions flawlessly, and it even mimics the gestures of a real flight attendant. Thanks to some pretty advanced reinforcement learning tech, the airline says it uplifted the passenger experience. Kids and adults were apparently fascinated taking pictures with this thing. It didn't serve food or drinks, but the reaction online has been less than enthusiastic. It's like a masterclass in human anxiety. The comment sections are flooded with people seeing it not as a helper, but as a replacement. One of the most viral comments was someone joking that the human flight attendant was literally training her own replacement. Another person called it a solution looking for a problem. The excitement from the airline is crashing headfirst into a wall of public skepticism and fear about job losses and a loss of control. And this isn't just a one-off experiment. Look at Qatar Airways. They've already unveiled their own crew of eye-powered humanoid attendants. Over in manufacturing, Companies like Hyundai are rolling out wearable robots for assembly lines. The wave is coming, whether we're ready or not. Is Validia the friendly beginning of a beautiful human-robot collaboration where bots handle the boring, repetitive tasks, freeing up humans for more complex customer service, or is this the first chilling step towards a fully automated workforce where the human touch becomes a luxury? This trial run on a Pobeda flight is more than just a PR stunt. It's a litmus test for our collective comfort level. The biggest challenge ahead won't be the technology. It'll be figuring out how to make sure these innovations enhance our experiences without erasing the irreplaceable value of human connection. The future is in the cabin, and it's asking us if we feel safe yet. Let me know what you think down in the comments.